I call your attention to the gospel according to St. Luke. The gospel according to St. Luke, the 17th chapter. That's St. Luke, the second chapter, and the 17th verse. St. Luke, the second chapter. St. Luke, the second chapter, verse 17. I'll be reading from the King James Version. That's St. Luke, the second chapter, verse 17. And we will find these words. And when they had seen it, that's Jesus that is. Yeah. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told concerning this child. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. Go tell it on the mountain is the subject that we're going to talk about this morning. Go tell it on the mountain. Go and tell it on the mountain is the subject that we're going to talk about this morning. Now we are living in an age of talk of which a lot of talking is going on but very little listening. Hardly a day passes that newspapers and media outlets carry headlines like talks to begin or talks to continue or talks to resume. Over the years we have had many talk shows Yes. Well, people come and talk about issues. Sometimes they come and talk about nothing. We have become a talkaholic nation. We talk about people's personal lives. We talk about who's going with whom. We talk about things we have heard. We talk about this. We talk about that and the other. It is not much different among Christians. Have you been around people who just love to hear themselves talk? There are people who talk so much they forget about what they talked about before. A lot of talking is going on, but very listening is taking place. A lot of talking is going on, but very little is getting done. Yeah, man. A young man by the name of Lopez said that just shut up talking about what you're going to do. Just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. But people just love to talk. Yeah. I have been in conferences. I have been in meetings. I have been in workshops. Uh, where a person has the floor and other people are just talking and holding conversations. Some people want to be heard with nothing to say. There's a lot of talking going on. And I agree with John C. Maxwell. He said great people talk about ideas. Average people talk about themselves. And small people talk about others. We have all heard that talk is cheap, but not anymore. Do you know talking is a multi-billion dollar industry? The cell phone industry is making billions upon billions of dollars of people just talking. You just saw me, now you want to talk to me. There are people who cannot pay their basic necessities because the money is spent on talking. People are talking away their mortgages. They are talking away their rent. They are talking away their groceries. Talking away their tithes and offering. People are digging themselves deeper and deeper in a financial hole because they just love to talk. I know a young person in Tennessee 
who flunked out of college because he talked away the time he should have been putting in his study. A lot of talking is going on. Now God gave us a mouth to talk. But the problem is not the functionality of the mouth, but what comes out of the mouth. There are some things in life we ought to go and tell, and there are some things in life we just ought to shut our mouths about. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are people who tell everything but the right thing. Come on. But they learn to talk. When people talk all the time and don't know when to shut their mouths, conclusions are drawn about them. I remember when I was in Florida and we picked up this uh, lady, I ain't gonna call her name, and that lady just talked from the time we picked her up until the time we got to our destination. Nine hours of just running a mouth. Just, just talking. Diarrhea at the mouth. I said, Lord, have mercy. But my brothers and sisters, if we gonna talk, the Bible says that death and life is in the power of the tongue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We ought to speak life with our mouths that God has given us. Yes, sir. We ought not to tear down, but we ought to build up with what we say with our mouth. Yes, but this Christmas season is a time in which we ought to talk. Yes, yes, not about foolishness. Yes, not about politics. Yes. Not about Santa Claus. Yes. Not about the department store sales. Yes. We ought to tell somebody about the great gift God has given all of humanity. Yes. God so loved the world yes. that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. We ought to tell somebody about that bomb in Gilead yeah. that can heal a sin yes. of soul. Yes, sir. That bomb in Gilead yeah. that can make the wounded whole. Yes, we ought to go and tell it on the mountain yeah. how good God has been to us. Yeah. We ought to go and talk about how good God has blessed us. Yeah. We ought to tell it on the mountain yeah. about Amazing grace. Yeah. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Yes. I once was lost, yeah. but now I'm trying. Yeah. If we gonna talk, talk about how God looked over your fault yeah. and saw your need. Yeah. Talk about how God made a way yeah. out of no way. Yeah. Talk about how God blessed you in the city. Yeah. How God blessed you in the field. Yeah.
glorify God. Amen. And we are horrified at old age. He wants us talking against each other. Yes. He wants us talking about each other. Yes. But he don't want us to use our mouths yes. to say what good thing yes. the Lord has done. Yes. Yes. So my brothers and sisters, yes. even though I got a cold, yes. I told the devil, Yeah. 
your shoes a peace. Yes, because a lot of folk don't have peace. And Father, we want you to grant each one under the sound of my voice that peace which surpasses all understanding. Yes, and Father God, I want you to gird each one in the day yes, with the belt of truth. Yes. Because Father, we know, Father, that only the truth will make us free. Yes. And Father, and who you have set free, who your son has set free, is free indeed. Yes. So we ask you to bless each person here today, Lord. Bless them in a mighty, mighty, special way. And Father God, and for our, our guests who have come today, we thank you so much for yeah, yeah, yeah. allowing them to come and worship with us. We know they could have went to some other church, but they came here. And we just thank you for allowing them to come here and join in with our worship experience. So we just pray, God, that you will bless them in a mighty, mighty special way. And those, Father, who are on our sick list, those who are at home, those who are in the convalescent home, and those you have brought back to us, we just, Father, ask you right there, Father, to extend your peace to them. Extend your love to them. Extend your grace to them right there, Father. Because we know, Father, without you, we can do nothing. So keep them connected, Lord. Let them know, Father, that you will never leave them, nor forsake them. Oh, yes, Lord. And Father, and for our bereaved families, yes. Father, you said you will be a mother yes. to the motherless. Yes, you said you yes. will be a father yes. to the fatherless. Yes. So we ask you right there, Father, to take care of yes. our bereaved yes. families, Lord. And we give you all the praise, yes. honor, and glory. And Father God, and for our youth, Oh, Lord, you know the devil is after. Yes. But, Father, help our youth to be strong, yes. to be co courageous, yes. and to be able to stand when there's nothing else to do but just stand. Yes. Because, Father, we know that they are our future leaders. Yes. One day we're going to vote on them. Yes. So we ask you to protect them. Cover them yes, yes. and love them yes. because, Father, these are some terrible times. Yes. There's a lot of deception going on. So we ask you right now in the name of Jesus to give our young people, yes. to give our young people spiritual discernment. Yes. Let them know that communication with your mouth is only 20%. Help them to not just hear what folk are saying, but to look at them and discern what they are saying and what they are doing. Yes. Help them, Father, because there's going to be time, Lord, that it's just going to be you and them. Yes. And we're going to be there in our bad sleep. Yes. And they're going to be awake. Amen. So we ask you, Lord, to protect them, Lord, give them Amen. spiritual discernment. Yes. And only you can give it to them. Yes. And Father God, we give you all the praise on it. Father, we just want to uh, say thank you and we pray God that every song that was sung, every prayer that was prayed, the word that was preached, the bell that was rung, all of the things that worship you, we pray God that it was pleasing in your sight. Because we just want to give you our best. Because you gave us your best. And we thank you for this season. And we thank you for allowing us to know the reason for this season. So Father, we just thank you for everything. Thank you for being God. And thank you, Father, for keeping us. Because you said, Father, you will keep us. And then we want to be kept. And we want to be kept, Lord. So thank you for all that has transpired. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. And we just want to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah.